How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Sihu M18 chair. You might be wondering, why am I wearing these gloves? They give them to you with the chair so you can assemble it without getting your hands dirty. Ah, with this chair, you can just sit back and relax. I have a friend who works really hard and she sits on a used Facebook Marketplace chair that's almost half broken. If you're working that hard, why not reward yourself with a new chair? This one in particular has a nice soft cushion seat, a mesh back that's very breathable. It's very important in the summer. And sometimes you just need something that's mid-range like this chair that is completely functional, no wheels falling off. I know the gas cylinder breaks a lot. And so sometimes a chair doesn't even come up anymore. Let me show you what it looks like from the box. The seat back, the five chair legs, the thing that holds the five chair legs, five wheels, left and right armrest, headrest, the up and down piston, and the main assembly that holds everything, instruction manual. The back mesh material is very breathable. You can even see through it. Leaning into it, and if you have broad shoulders, you see it fits right here. Sometimes if the chair backing is not broad enough, you might end up hitting the edges over here. The headrest can go down all the way, or up all the way eventually comes out like that. I'll adjust it to the proper height for me. When you're done doing this, you can pull it forward as forward as this much or push it back like that much. Somewhere around the middle, around here is good. The backrest allows three angles of adjustment. You got the normal sitting position, pull the right handle out, lean forward a little bit, and then you can lean back, push the handle back in and it'll lock into place. This is kind of like a relaxing angle. You can just sit here and it's reclined enough that you can relax. If you want to go even further back, just pull the lever out, push it back, lock it back into place. And it's kind of like, I don't know. This is kind of like you can almost sleep in this angle if you lift your feet up. The armrests also have adjustability. You can go up and down by pushing the button. The lumbar support is not engaged at all. There's a little gap of space between the fabric and the lumbar support. But let me turn it this way and push it all the way in. Okay, it's engaged now and you can keep on pushing forward for about 1.9 inches pushed in that much. With the lumbar support completely retracted, I'm gonna push it out. There it is. A lot of lumbar support right there. Almost a bit too much for me. If you push on the headrest and feel the fabric here, there's a thin layer of foam for padding and on the front, it contours to your head. It features this W-shaped cushion. Now this is not quite memory foam because it does not keep a memory shape. It feels more like medium density foam to me. On the right edge of the seat, there's a logo tag, it says Sihu. At the bottom of the chair, there's a tensioning knob. You just twist it until the tension is to your liking. I turned it counterclockwise all the way. And if I just kind of push back, it's very easy. There's no tension at all. So let me twist it clockwise all the way and see how hard the tension is. This knob down here is for how hard you have to push this back. Okay, that's as hard as it goes. So you can do a thing where you unlock it and it's just kind of springy all the time. You lean back and it'll push you forward like that. Let's push the airlift right there. When assembling, you have to put these bolts in yourself. I'm quite pleased with the wheels. They are fairly good rolling. Some really fancy chairs allow you to adjust these armrests, but for this particular one, it only goes up and down. So beware of that. A close up of the seat material. This is a fabric pulling the chair up like that. Then we can start working. The legs are in the chrome color. This lever on the right, you just push it and it can go up. Pull it out to unlock the backrest. Push it in to lock the backrest. If you have an old raggedy chair at home, it's time to reward yourself and upgrade. I would consider this a mid-range chair and there will be additional discounts down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys are interested in this product, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Hope this video helps. Until next time.